Now, Jim has articulated it very well. We have one common problem in this country, and that is the problem of the economy. Jim here is an icon, and I want you to note this. We have had two struggles in this country. The first one was for our independence, which we attained. And these grounds here in Meru, we had two major heroes, Musa Mwariyama and Baimungu, who knew what it took to struggle for the independence of this country, who gave up their lives for the struggle of this country. The second liberation, you have a hero here in Jim, standing right here, liberated us from our own local colonialists, and it was a democratic liberation, so that we have democratic space where we can choose our leaders. We are now in what you call the third phase of our liberation, and that is called economic liberation. The greatest freedom of all is when people have money in their pockets to do under which they want to do. It's the greatest liberation, and unfortunately, we are at a stage where we are at the greatest enslavement of economic liberation. We are being enslaved. The president the other day said that his only problem, his only problem is debt. Two days ago, that is the only problem. Makuna kitu kingine, that out of 10 shillings, seven shillings is going to pay debt. That is our enslavement. We have said for over one year now, that this debt, this debt is not legal debt. This debt we should not be paying. This debt is enslaving us and finishing us. It is the reason why we have high taxation. It is the reason why we have the fall of the shilling that Jim was talking about. It is the reason why we are going nowhere economically. I can tell you categorically, hakuna ta hukumbele. There is no light with the method this government is using. As long as they are paying this useless debt, this illegal debt, they are going nowhere. They are not going to solve this problem. In fact, every single day we live is going to get worse. We also know that they have reached the stage where they cannot pay this debt. And very soon, life is going to become unbearable to us. We are not going to take it because those who have brought us to this bankruptcy cannot get us out of it. You cannot have a manager in a company who takes you to the brink of bankruptcy. It is not possible. It is not possible. So we have given them notice. That after some of you think we are just talking, we have given them notice. We have said that by the end of March, if this does not change, then you shall see action that is synonymous to action that brought the first liberation of Kenya, synonymous to that that brought the second liberation of Kenya, and will bring the third right before your eyes. 